Hi students, let us uh, continue with the topic breadth first search. In the previous video, I explained about the, the pseudocode for the breadth first search. And now let us see what is the ex uh, example. By taking the example, uh, let us see how we can search the algorithm. That is breadth first search. So this is an example here I am taking. So this is a connected graph. So here this this I am taking. Okay. Uh, and now let us start the example. First, what I said, we have to start search at vertex. So, first I will start, start search at vertex 1. So, now I am I'm uh, searching from this uh, vertex 1. Okay. So, let us take the queue for this. Because I have to insert the values in the queue. So, whenever the adjacent vertices are visited, you have to remove that uh, value from the queue. So, first start the start search at vertex 1. Okay. So, then I am placing the value in the queue. So, this is 1 I am placing in the queue. The first in first out. You have to remember the first in first out. This is a queue. So, at 1, what are the adjacent value? So, whenever you are entering to that uh, queue, you just... Whatever the value that is uh, entering the queue that has to be visited. So, the visited value should be placed in the output. So, next, what are the adjacent values for the 1? So, the adjacent values are the 2 and 4. So, just place the values 2 and 4 in the queue and write it in the output 2, 4. Now, just take the next adjacent. So, now 1 is in uh, for 1, there is no remaining adjacent vertices. So, then just remove the value fr from Q. So, if there are no adjacent vertices to be visited, so just remove the value from the Q. Okay. So, we have to uh, do until the Q is empty. We have to do the search until the Q is empty. Okay. So, now I entered in for the 2. So, what are the adjacent values for the 2? Okay. What are the adjacent values for the 2? The adjacent values for the 2 are 3, 5, 6. Okay. 3, 5, 6. So, for 2, there are no more adjacent values. Okay. There are no more adjacent values to be visited. So, I entered 3, 5, so, now there are no more adjacent values. So, just remove the value from the queue. Just dequeue it. Okay. Dequeue it. Remove the value. Okay. So, after that, what is the value of the 4? Now, I have to come to the 4. So, you enter these values 3, 5, 6 in the output. So, what are the adjacent value for the 4? So, the adjacent value for the 4 is 6. But 6 is already visited. So, just uh, re remove that value from the queue because there are no more values to be vis visited. That is dequeue it. So, next is the 3. So, for 3, what is adjacent value? That is a 5 and 2. So, the 5 and 2 is already visited. Okay. Already the 2 is visited 3 and 5. So, for 2 and 5 already visited. So, there are no more adjacent values for the 3 vertex. There are no more vertices for the 3. Then just dequeue it. Now, coming to the 5. So, what are the adjacent vertices for the 5? 9 and 7. So, just enter the values 9, 7 in the queue and place it here. 9, 7. So, this 5 visited 9 and 7. Okay, now there are no more adjacent vertices or to be visited by the 5. So, the 5 already having, the 3 is already visited, 9 is already visited, 7 is. So, just dequeue it. Dequeue. Okay, now coming to the 6. So, the 6, next value is a 6 in the queue. 6 is already visited, I mean, uh, the adjacent vertices for the 6 is 4, 2, 9, 7. But 4, 2, 9, 7 is already visited. Okay. Just remove the value from the queue. Because there are no more vertices to be visited by the 6. 
now coming to the 9 so what are the adjacent vertices for the 9 5 and 8 so 5 already visited but 8 is not visited so just enter the value 8 in the queue and write it in the output okay so now a 9 visited 8 also is there any remaining vertices to be visited for the 9 no 5 is already visited 8 is already visited 6 is already visited so just dq it now coming to the 7 5 is already visited 6 is already visited so just dq it 8 so the adjacent vertices is for 8 is 9 9 is already visited so just dq it so now now the queue becomes empty so here the queue is empty so whenever the queue is empty there is now the search terminates search will terminate so the main uh, aim of bfs is we have to search each and every means we have to uh, search the each and uh, every vertex in the list so it has to be traversed from by touching all the vertices in the list okay so this is how the bfs uh, will work so let us see the property of bfs what is the property of bfs the main property of bfs is all vertices reachable from start vertex vertex or visited so the main m is it has to visit all vertices from the starting vertices from starting vertices it has to visit all the vertices so this is about bfs so in the next video i explain about the dfs thank you